What we're setting up here is an eight-ring circus of sorts. We do this for conditioning, for fitness. Biggest problem for coaches are time and space. You know, there was a several-year period where we were sharing courts, our boys' team, our girls' team, another boys' team, another girls' team, in the same town, in the same season, seven courts. It's, it's a juggling act to, to run a tennis program. We want to make, you know, uh, make it possible to put as much on one court as we can. We can have 16 people easily on this. We've got 10 or 12 out here today. We've got eight different fitness stations for conditioning, for quickness, that we're going to send everybody through. Okay, so we're going to run all eight of these at once. When you hear the word switch, then, if you're going to leave your rack in that place, do so. You can actually, uh, Brenton, you and Thomas can face the same way if you want. It's cool. I know you guys are going the same direction. Okay, is everybody ready? We're going to do all eight of these. Begin. Station one is forehands and backhands at real-time speed, but with, with a little bit of extra tug on the racket because we've got it covered with covered with a plastic bag. Finish your stroke in every case. Court two, we want to have real light feet. Station two is, remember John Wooden used to say, be quick but don't hurry. We want to have our athletes do that. We don't want to have them looking frantic with their feet and sounding frantic with their feet. Light, almost silent movement on the court as they work on their quickness. Third stage is working on abs and lower back. Medicine ball pass, so actually coherence too. Working with a partner. Fourth stage is lunge volleys. Billie Jean King used to say, curtsy to the queen on low volleys. Get down, touch that knee. And we want our players to do that too, to get down to the ball. Good. Okay, rotation. Next move. Okay, here we go. You'll be. That's okay. Uh, what we'll do... Well, we'll just send you down in as soon as he's done with his seven on each. There'll be time. Okay. That's cool. Okay. Everybody got it? Actually, we can use a guy down at serve and volley, it turns out. Want to do that? It's good. Okay, Chandra, are you all set? Very good. Okay, ready? Begin. On the far side in the alley, we've got guys doing push-ups. Real important. People tend to over-contract over on their push-ups. Anything below 90 degrees is way too much work and actually hurts this part of the shoulder. So we say go down to 90 degrees, hold it, and move back, straighten the arms up again. Almost straight, not quite, only down to 90. We don't go all the way down to the ground. The old Marine Corps version, my father was a Marine, and I can say this with respect, actually worked way too hard and caused injuries in this part of the shoulder, especially tough on people serving and hitting overheads in tennis. Serve and volley, be sure to push off that foot. We've got guys over here also doing a, a lift called the well, superhero lift, flying through the air, holding it for 10 seconds. Okay. We've got two medicine ball places. The first ones we've seen already. This is a throw and catch. Good. We've got our serve and volley man ready. Switch. Okay. The guys in this zone are doing what we call the infinity. Infinity footwork, where they're working up what would be a sideways figure eight pattern. We call that infinity because that's what it looks like. So, Sam, you can join down here. Actually, if you'll do the zero, the f first starting point, do your seven forehands and seven backhands. Everybody about ready? Thomas is already set. Thanks, Thomas. Chandra? Hey, Chandra, have you already done the uh, serve and volley? Yeah. Okay, good man. All right, so, Thomas, go ahead. We'll have both you guys go through this. Ready? Begin. It's kind of a Rube Goldberg machine. Everything's running at once in different directions. But the idea is to use one court and get all these activities done somehow. All of them are meant to be tennis specific as far as the conditioning aspects and the actual stroke mechanics and muscle strengthening. 